Hello, my name is Doreen Kutufam and I'm an associate professor at Carroll College. And I'm here with my colleague. Hi, my name is Dr. Shomitri Gupta and um, I am an assistant professor of English in the Department of Languages and Literature at Carroll College. All right, and we are here today to invite you to join us for the second Social Justice and Human Rights Film Festival. This festival is going to be held at Carol's Simperman Hall, room 101 or 202. And it's free and open to the public. And it starts on Tuesday, April 4th to April 6th. And so we're going to talk a little bit about what started this film festival and the lineup for this year. So my colleague, Dr. Gupta, can talk a little bit about the origins of this festival. Sure, I'm happy to talk about what uh, brought us together. So uh, Doreen and I, we went to the same graduate school in Syracuse and uh, at Syracuse, we had this tradition of the Human Rights Film Festival. Um, and what I really appreciated about the film festival was not just uh, the fabulous lineup of films that our professors would um, organize, but also the conversations that those films generated um, and the sense of community that those conversations created. Um, so um, I was interested in bringing in that tradition um, into Carol because Carol values uh, community building uh, through social conversations on social justice issues. And uh, Doreen was an obvious collaborator because she, A, she's a Syracuse alum, and, uh, and B, she's in the communication department, and both of us are interested in social justice issues and world cinema. Uh, so we, um, we started talking, and uh, we wanted to make the Social Justice Human Rights Film Festival a part of a co-taught world cinema course. So last year, uh, we kicked off uh, the Social Justice Human Rights Film Festival, and this year, the SJHR Film Festival is part of our world cinema course curriculum. Okay, and then in addition to that, Carol, one of Carol's mission is social justice and therefore, you know, as a Catholic institution, we actually have a mission to uh, make sure that the world that we live in is a better place and, you know, um, there is literally, I mean, justice for everybody else, that we are all treated equally so. One of the things that the film festival addresses is, you know, bringing issues about not just human rights, but also issues about social justice to the forefront of the discussion. So let's start by talking about the lineup for all of the films and the highlights, um, starting from the first day. Um, Dr. Gupta, can you talk about the first day and the highlights? Sure, so we are really excited about the opening night of the film festival. Uh, we are going to screen um, a series of short films on uh, refugee stories and perspectives all around the world. Um, the, one of the films, one of the highlights of the opening night is a short film called Fantasuit or Rain on the Borders. Um, and uh, we are um, gonna have um, the filmmaker Federica Foglia um, join in um, via Skype um, and President Thomas Evans is going to give the opening remarks. Um, and then we also have an interdisciplinary panel following the film screening. Um, we will be joined by Shahid uh, Wilmot and Dr. Chris Fuller um, as part of our panel. All right, and so um, f after every day's film screening, there is going to be a panel uh, discussion to follow. So the panel of experts would lead with the discussion and then the audience would also have the opportunity to ask questions. All right, and so then the second day is we are going to show a trick or treaty, mm -hmm. which is a Canadian film um, done on uh, by a Canadian, a native Canadian who is, um, the film focuses on issues of land and the controversy of promises that are made about, you know, the acquisition of land. Um, you wanna 
add more sure, to it? Sure, sure. Um, I can. Uh, the only thing that I would like to add to that is the filmmaker is a distinguished uh, First Nations Canadian uh, filmmaker. Her name is Alanis Obamsavin, and she has been making films on uh, the fraught issue of land acquisition and promises made to First Nations tribes by European settlers. And this film pretty much focuses on that. And the film screening will be followed by panel discussion. And again, we are going to have an interdisciplinary panel uh, featuring faculty, Carol's faculty from different departments, um, one from sociology, one from history, and one from environmental science, who will be talking about the relevance of some of these issues in the US con national context as well as local Montana context. All right, and then on the final day, which is the third day, April 6th, we will be showing the film called Undocumented. The Uncondemned. The Uncondemned, um, uh, my apologies, The Uncondemned. And that film focuses on the Rwanda genocide and issues about human rights again and social justice. These are a number of activists, lawyers, and uh, women who were victims of rape because of the war that happened in that country. And these women pretty much put themselves together and took their case all the way to the International Human Rights Court, and they managed to be able to get rape in the time of war to be classified as war crime. And so this is a film that's going to focus on that. And we are going to have myself on the panel, and then we're also going to have Dr. Deborah Bernardi on the panel as well. Do you want to add something else to it? No, I think um, no, I think that was a really good description. <laughs> um, the, the only thing that I would add is, and I know uh, Dr. Kudufam already mentioned this, uh, the, the goal of the film festival is to generate conversations among audience members on the pressing social justice human rights issues um, around the world as well as in the u.s uh, national context as well as in our local community um, so uh, so that the, the conversation and the community building are really um, important aspects of the film festival and we are really looking forward to uh, having members of uh, the, our local helena community come in and join in those conversations okay and then also actually april is um, considered uh, Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So The Uncondemned is a very you know, appropriate film for April because it talks about sexual assault in the course of war and you know, how these women have been able to fight to be able to get it classified as a war crime. So we invite all of you to come and join us um, for this special festival. And as we said, it is going to be April 4th, 5th, and 6th. All showings start at 7 p.m. And it would we are looking at ending maximum by 9.30. It's going to be in Carroll's Simperman Hall in the Wagon Amphitheater. And as we have already mentioned, each of the films would be followed by a panel discussion and Q&A from the audience. The lineup of the films, again, are? Fantasuit um, or Rain on the Borders, as well as a series of other short films on refugee stories around the world. That's on April 4th. April 5th, Trick or Treaty, uh, a film by distinguished Canadi um, First Nations Canadian filmmaker Alanis Obamsavin. And April 6th, The Closing Night, The Uncondemned. If you need any more information on how to get more information on this film, you can actually call us on Carol's um, number, 406-447-5472. And if you want, would rather not call but send an email, the email to get to us is S G U P. T A at carol.edu. And the number again is 447 5472. We look forward to seeing you and thank you for spending the time to listen to us. Yeah, thank you. And we're looking forward to seeing some of you. All right, and have a good day. <laughs>